The next startup that we're featuring on the show is part of uh, Sequoia Capital's cohort Surge. It's a startup that claims uh, it's come out with a new technology for rapid charging, which is new and really unique. And joining me is uh, Nine Log Materials co-founder Akshay Singhal right here on the show. Thanks so much for being a part of today's broadcast. We actually saw your folks uh, tweet. It sounded pretty cool, so we wanted to know more about it. Tell us about this new rapid charging tech for electric vehicles. Thanks, Nantara, for having me on the show. Uh, uh, yeah, so basically this rapid charging technology that we have developed enables uh, electric vehicle to get charged in less than 15 minutes time, where the usual uh, charging time in the Indian market is at least four to five hours and only premium vehicles like Aether are able to provide a fast charging over and a half hours. Uh, we are able to give it at 15 minutes. And another benefit is that this battery technology uh, will enable uh, electric vehicles to be used across the length and breadth of the country because uh, it can operate without any problems uh, from a temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 60 degrees Celsius. So the extreme cold and, and summers of India can be taken care of by this battery pack. And, uh, and the best feature is that, which, uh, which saves a lot, of, a lot of cost, is that the life of this battery is 15 times more than your uh, normal lithium ion battery. So these are not lithium batteries. Uh, this is not uh, your typical lithium ion battery. Uh, it is it is based on a supercapacitor technology. And as I was saying that it uh, offers much better life, uh, wherein typical lithium ion batteries uh, last for around 1000 mm. to 1500 charge discharge cycles. Uh, this one lasts for more than 15,000 charge discharge cycles. Okay. I believe this is also like a 15 minute charge for almost a 60 kilometer radius. Uh, uh, can you compare it for us, uh, you know, with other competitors in India and worldwide when it comes to this rapid charging that what you have developed? So uh, rapid charging uh, in general is something which is not still available in uh, many parts of the world. And the supercapacitor technology uh, was primarily being used uh, around the globe for uh, power management on the grid scale or basically your heavy power applications like cranes, forklifts, and stuff like that. Uh, this is the first time that uh, we have been able to kind of develop a, in, uh, like a homegrown supercapacitor technology and deploy it for a two-wheeler, three-wheeler use case across the globe. How competitive in pricing will you be? So uh, this technology that we have built is primarily meant for B2B use cases of two and three-wheelers, uh, which is particularly for your last mile deliveries, e-com deliveries, and stuff like that. And uh, for, for a fleet operation running on our rapid charging technology versus your uh, swapping based technology or versus your fast charging based technology, uh, the fleet operator will see a saving of at least 30% from day one. 30% from day one saving you're saying and that's primarily why because uh, the fleet can last longer on the road without the charge or what? Or is it because the installation isn't as expensive? So there are two things which are driving this cost down. One is the long battery life because usually in case of electric vehicles, the fleet operator has to kind of invest again and again into the battery. And that happens every 18 to 24 months. Uh, whereas in our case, the battery would be good to go for more than 15 years time. And the second aspect is that because your charging happens very, very quickly. So your uptime of the vehicle goes up and hence you can utilize it for more number of kilometers per day. Now, you know, uh, Log9 Materials, of course, is a part of Sequoia Capital Surge cohort where, you know, I believe one of the big themes is build for India and take to the world. Is that the game plan? Absolutely. So uh, the, uh, the two-wheeler, three-wheeler is something which is very, very unique. Uh, or the last mile delivery use case on the food delivery, e-coms and everything is very, very unique to the Indian ecosystem. And hence, we are building this tech uh, for India right now. And then uh, within the next one to two years, we'll be taking it to the other Southeast Asian markets and then to the other parts of the world. And have you managed this this uh, rapid uh, charging tech that you've developed, which you're saying is so much better than the others? Uh, are you also going to sell this technology to electric vehicle manufacturers? Is that something that you're not going to look at at all? So uh, we are working with uh, electric vehicle manufacturers already, but the idea would be to make fleet operators our direct customers, because in that case, we can transfer the benefit of long life in form of a rental, monthly rental kind of a model uh, so that they can realize lower TCO from day one, as I mentioned. So the idea would be to work on one end with the uh, with the vehicle manufacturers, electric vehicle manufacturers, and on the other end with the fleet operators. 
The reason I also asked this was, you know, because EVs are hot, right? Uh, EVs are hot, uh, driverless cars are hot. You're seeing some of the biggest companies in the world uh, tie up with automakers for this, uh, Apple and Amazon. You anyway got to look at the success story of Tesla. So it's really great to hear that, you know, India, an Indian startup is building tech that is going to go global as well. Uh, final comments coming in from you. Uh, actually, I want to know, so you built this tech. Is this what is keeping you busy? Are you looking at... Uh, other technologies as well with you know with batteries and evs at the moment one thing very, which is very important to understand in the ev landscape is that you need to uh, uh, understand that one type fit all battery solution is not uh, not possible so what works for a two wheeler three wheeler segment will not work for a uh, for a long haul truck or for example what works in a b2c situation for a direct consumer it does not work in the b2b fleet operation kind of a business and hence uh, uh, initially as we started our journey into the entire electric vehicle space with the aluminum fuel cell technology uh, what we figured out was that the super capacitor which was a sub component of aluminum fuel cell is now uh, becoming relevant for the two wheeler three wheeler intra city use case wherein the typical range on the vehicle is not uh, not that big of a problem but the uptime the charging time and the battery life are key challenges so for the immediate term we will be focusing on uh, deploying and commercializing this technology and uh, we also believe that eventually over three to four years down the line, uh, the, the long haul truck uh, market will also uh, get mature. And at that time, aluminum fuel cell is something which will be also commercializing. So you don't want to look at passenger electric vehicles at all? Uh, no. So for, uh, for us, our focus is with, with, with both of our technologies, <laughs> the focus is to look at B2B uh, use cases of vehicles because that is the place where uh, the incentive to go electric is the highest at this point of time. Because these vehicles are on the road most of the time, and at the same time, uh, the the fleet operators can really reduce their uh, uh, cost on the fuel, and hence uh, go electric. So you can reduce the pollution by giving financial incentive as well to the. You know, give me an idea because now you're in the business of supplying this kind of rapid charging technology for the two-wheeler, three-wheelers, like you said, to enterprise solutions like e-commerce and all of that. They're all uh, very focused on their cost and things like that as well, I would imagine. So when you right. want to supply to these kind of uh, fleet operators, can you give us an idea of the size of um, electric vehicle fleet that we have in India at the moment that is used by such companies? I, I, I wouldn't know how big it is at all. It would be interesting to know if they're expanding it as well because these vehicles typically cost more. Uh, so, uh, the thing is that right now around more than 15 uh, lakh vehicles are deployed in the last mile delivery use case and out of which I think less than 5% are electric mm. at this point of time. But uh, if you look at all the major uh, uh, e-com mm. players and logistics players in the, market, in, in, in the country, everybody has announced its plans to go electric. Uh, Amazon uh, wants to deploy around 10,000 electric vehicles in the near future uh, over the next 2-3 years I guess. And uh, similar plans have been announced by all other major uh, electric fleet players. So from that perspective, this proportion is going to grow uh, significantly. And uh, as you rightly mentioned, the upfront cost is a big challenge, which we are solving in a way, wherein uh, the fleet operator only needs to buy the vehicle upfront, which cost is even lower than a petrol vehicle. And the entire battery is something which he only pays on a per month basis. So in that way, he doesn't need to spend extra uh, on the electric vehicle. You're building this tech in India, which you will also take to the world. Can you give us an idea of uh, how much it costs to build this? Uh, sorry, cost to build this as in, I didn't understand the question. <laughs> uh, what I mean is how much you invested, how much it cost you to make this, to build this prototype that you're now going to be uh, ah, okay. selling? Got it. So, so far uh, we have uh, raised around $4 million <laughs> uh, in our previous fundraise and uh, Majority of that has gone into developing this technology and further progressing on our technology of aluminum fuel cell. A significant amount of investment has gone into setting up local competency uh, on building this technology, the battery integration, as well as the cell manufacturing pilot lines. And you're ready to start selling, let's say if you know for Amazon, uh, the fleet guys of Amazon or Flipkart, Zomato, etc. called you, 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 you're ready? Yes, so we are working with almost every major uh, e-com and last mile uh, logistics player and the pilots are starting from next week onwards. We have signups for around 200 vehicles in the pilot phase and more than 1,000 vehicles on the commercial phase. And we, be, uh, we plan to go commercial in September. Can I ask you what kind of e-commerce companies have tied up with you? Uh, so we will be uh, doing pilots with uh, uh, your Vogo, Amazon, 
uh, shadow fax uh, and other smaller fleet operators across the country okay all the big guys out there basically with that actually yes. here's uh, wishing you and the entire team at uh, log9 materials all the very best uh, thanks for giving us this interview thank you Nandala. thanks a lot